Well, today the old cook shack is going to get that nice, nice control for the vertical smoker. And you can see this is going to get a little bit crazy, but here's what we've got set up. We've got the brand new damper. I've got the rod for it hidden somewhere. You'll get to see it later. We have a special hole making tool. This is uh, this tool is built by Smith and Wesson, and uh, it puts out a drill bit that's a uh, .224, and uh, the rod that's going to go through the stovepipe is a uh, .21. So we'll have about eight or nine thousandths of tolerance on there, which I, I think that'll be okay for the smoke. I don't think it's going to cause any problems because that whole thing will be at a vacuum. So there's the stovepipe. It's a six inch, really nice Duravent heavy duty stovepipe. I've currently got it upside down because I want the damper to be on the bottom side of it. Uh, the measurement from the, uh, the hole making machine, it looks kind of like a gun barrel, but the hole making machine is about nine inches. And I've got that measured carefully. I can always, uh, raise or lower this before I uh, drill it, self-tap it into the uh, flange on the stove. It's got a really nice long four or five inch long collar that this slides over. So I've got a little liberty to go up and down. We can't go too high because you'll get up into the roof of the cook shack. So here's what we've got. Uh, the barrel lug itself, the uh, little uh, bird cage is worth three cards in a deck of cards in height. So I put that in the tail end of the level. You can see that the level is uh, is dead on. I'll do one final adjustment. Uh, you have to have a big cast iron wok and a nice sandbag, bunny, bunny ear bag. Uh, the AR sitting uh, nice and level. Uh, we've measured the table. We've measured <clears throat> the uh, levelness of the pipe itself. The pipe has to be level because when we shoot through, we don't want the hole to be coming in one side and then going uh, on the upper or lower, you know, above or beyond that. Because when you put the damper in there, it would cause the damper to get hung up. So the way we did that, pretty simple. I love using cards as a, as a very nice way to level stuff. And you can see there I've leveled it four and a half, right and left. And uh, I've checked it. I'm not going to put 16 levels on there to show you that, but... Uh, it is level front to back and side to side. So we've got these two levels agreeing with each other. One is a vertical level. The other is horizontal level. So that's getting complicated. No, this is just simple stuff on the farm. Nothing complicated here. And uh, don't have to use the red dot this time. I've got one round in there. You notice uh, the uh, magazine where the, you know, holds the drill bits. It's uh, pulled out for sake of uh, being able to get that to rest right where it is. And uh, the safety is on. There is one uh, drill bit in the, uh, in the uh, chamber. And here in a few minutes, we're going to uh, pop that off. But uh, right now, we got to go take a little coffee break. And uh, we will be back here shortly. I'm going to let the sun come up over my head so I won't make quite as many shadows because the shadows could knock everything off. We don't want that. We want the shadows to be to be gone. So see you in a few minutes. Over and out for now. Here we are back at the farm and we're getting ready to punch a hole. I just wanted to show you the drill bits that we're using on this uh, rig. This is a Smith & Wesson uh, drilling uh, machine. And uh, you can see here we are at, uh, let's see, 0. 0.223. So this is a 223. If you could get that to go a little bit lower where that's crimped onto the uh, drill bit, it would say 224. And that's the size of hole it's going to make. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're getting this hole made for this damper. So the damper has uh, two parts to it. It has the plate itself, which is what controls your airflow. And this is very critical on a vertical smoker, any kind of smoker, is your exhaust air determines 
the vacuum on your stove. So whether it's a wood stove for the house or wood stove for cooking, your top stack, its output is what makes it draw. And that draw is what pulls air in. So you get more air volume, more air speed. When the dampers open, the more air volume you get, the more oxygen, more oxygen, more heat. So this does your coarse adjustment of heat on the wood stove. So you can see this arrangement. It's pretty cool the way they build this. Uh, it's got the spring, and that basically holds these two parts together and uh, makes it where when you turn this handle back and forth, you can turn the damper, but it doesn't uh, turn loose of it. And the way they do that is with this little this little knuckle right here. You can see it. Got this little knuckle. Let's see here. I'm trying to see that on the camera. I'll lay that down. Anyway, that little knuckle is... Uh, is what does the catch, and it's gonna catch one of these valleys. But this rod right here, see if I can get it on the camera, this is what has to poke through that stove pipe. Now I've got this set up for level here and level there and level every which way. So I'm gonna make one more check on this just to make sure I wanna look down from the top and make sure we're about halfway. And I believe we are. Let me put my eyeball on it. Looks like halfway, no problem. The kings are in order. We've still got a nice, uh, not a royal flush, but an ace, king, queen, jack, ten. So that's looking pretty good. So here's the next step. Uh, we want to take the safety off here. Let's see, this is safety on the side here. Let's see if I can do that, get my thumb on there. Take that safety off, that goes up like that. And then uh, there's a little trigger, just like you got on your Dewalt. But uh, this time I'm gonna check, the barrel's aimed in a safe direction, nothing but trees over there. I wanna check one more thing. I wanna check this level, make sure he's really good. And he is, he's plenty close enough. And uh, I'm gonna hold my ears. You might wanna hold your ears on this and let's see if this works. It's it did get loud. And uh, it blew the old stovepipe down on the ground. Uh, that was just the muzzle blast did that. That wasn't the big old force of the bullet. So let's go grab this thing. So now that we've used the drill, let put it back on safe. Lay him aside. I don't know if you're like me, I'm curious about that hole. Golly! Let's see, what a beautiful hole, man. That is beautiful. Let's see if this control rod for the damper will fit through that hole. What do you know? Look at that, look at that thing. It fits. Let's see if it'll go all the way through. Well, here we are back at the old stovepipe. I decided to do that uh, off video because I had a little bit of issue that is such a tight tolerance that uh it's kind of a chinese puzzle but anyway uh, i'm gonna try to look down inside here so you can have a look at this let me jump off here oh there we go jumping i'm not good at jumping anymore but uh there you can see the damper down inside there so i can get rid of some shadows be in these shadows i'll tell you there's the old damper and you can see you turn it you get it like that, that is full flow right there. That'll let a lot of oxygen go through there. A lot of smoke. It'll draw out the the old smoke and pull in some fresh oxygen. You turn it, boy, you can really throttle that thing. Very fine control. Notice that there are some uh, holes in there, and that makes sure that you never shut your stove all the way down to zero. But overall, I will tell you I made one mistake. When you have that kind of a drill there, uh, you do have to be a little bit careful that you don't uh, don't put it right up next to the uh, sheet metal because uh, it made a little bit of a, a blast here, made a small dent. And so that was easy to fix. I just took a screwdriver, went in from the other side, put a little block of metal inside there, tap, tap, and that was done. No big deal. Now, somebody might say, oh my gosh, when a bullet goes through sheet metal, doesn't it leave some kind of a ragged edge? Yes, it does. It leaves a little bit of a ragged edge, and I do not care. This is going to be up in the overhead. No child will ever touch that. 
And over time, a little bit of heat, a little bit of uh, lye soap from the smoke and the water mix, it's liable to eat that off anyway. So we're going to leave that alone. Did we hit dead center right and left on this side? Well, put it in the sunshine. Let's have a look. Let's see here. Okay. My eyes have very thick glasses. I know the pipe is leaning, but uh, let's lean it up where it's vertical. And uh, my eyes say, good enough. And then on the other side, check this side, see if I'm dead center. And uh, I say, good enough. Here's the biggest test, really. Does your throttle, your damper, does it move smoothly? And when you stop, does it stay in place? See, it has a spring on there. That spring is what keeps the pressure on it. So when you set it, if you want it at zero degrees, which means wide open throttle, all ahead flank, that's it right there. Then you can dial it back, give it 45 degree, that'd slow it down some. Then you get over here to 90, and uh, that's gonna really slow it down. It'll still let it burn. You could still have your bottom vent wide open, this one uh, shut, you'll still get some airflow. That might be the perfect setting for 250 degrees or 225 degrees low and slow with a good load of wood. So next will be the testing phase and see how she does. I'm going to go install it now and uh, I'll see you back at the cook shack. Thanks for watching and give a little tap on that subscribe. Thank you very much. Over and out for now.